Hello and welcome back, I'm Faintly Saintly and this is another episode of Mini Shoot Adventures. And if you joined me last time, we killed the second major boss, we hunted down a few mini bosses including the giant desert worm, and unlocked some cool powers including the shield and the time slowing ability, which will come in handy I'm sure. Also, uh, recently in the episode before I believe we unlocked the special cannon here, and I can't remember the exact name of that one, it's called the Super Shot Upgrade. And that unlocks new paths for us because that can open uh, cracked walls and destroy boulders. So there was a lot of those we came across early in the game that uh, we weren't able to explore at the time. So now if we come across them, we can break through and go exploring. So, uh, oh, I don't actually know what I'm doing at the moment. I just went into this cave to see what was in it. Probably already explored this one once or twice, no doubt. Might check out the map as well. And we also do have a couple of new NPCs back at the base. With a couple of new things to sell. This one will exchange these scarabs for different powers and uh, abilities. This one is selling the overall completion indicator. And will let me know on the map when I've missed something in an area. Uh, this guy takes map fragments and fills them with more details such as these caves. This guy heals me, and this guy upgrades my gun. 120 for level 5. But I think I might focus on this one, because it will tell me what I've missed and what I've cleared, which is always welcome. Now looking at the map, the second boss was here. We do have another one over here, which is down through this little maze-like area. I wonder if I can reach that yet. There is also one up north here, and I also note that there is a distress signal in a cave, presumably down here. And another one up here. Which is most likely an NPC. Just looking around, I might actually aim for this one first. Just to see if we can access it now. And if you are new to this channel or to this series and you're not familiar with this game, this is basically a very heavily inspired by Zelda uh, top-down adventure, obviously, but it is also very much a bullet hell. So it's it's a strange combination, and it's if you look at it at a glance, you might not see the Zelda references, but it's got the traditional Zelda dungeons. You might even see like you know this graphic of the cave is very reminiscent of Link to the Past. The influences are very clear, and if you've played both, you'll certainly uh, get that get that sense of the inspiration, I suppose. But it is also uh, a bit of a Metroidvania, so paths will be closed until you progress enough to unlock new abilities, and then you can return and open those paths and and uh, see what's inside. So uh, it combines a lot of really good uh, influences and genres, and uh, makes a really fun satisfying and tight controlling and I'll be honest you know it's a beautiful game it looks really good uh, it's just a really good package overall so if it interests you at all I would definitely recommend you check it out and I'll have the link in the description so let me just check my map because I've already probably overshot I have uh, it might have been in that cave I couldn't oh no it's right here under and there must be a secret path Not there though. Let's go have a look. Whoops. Try not to drive directly into bullets. There. I think this might be it. Let's see what we can find. Ah, uh, yes, okay. So I have been here before, but that was before I got the super shot. So now I can light this torch and break this wall. And there's looks like the remains of lots of little scarabs as well, which are the other collectibles, so that's interesting. Lit three torches and a door opens. He's down here. Oh, okay. I could have just come in this way, I suppose. 
few more torches over there. Little statues as well. Interesting little area. These uh, pot enemies. Pots, of course, being another little Zelda reference because you do break into people's homes and just break all their pots. But these ones have uh, gained sentience and want their revenge on you, I guess. And in rooms like this, you really see the bullet hell aspect of the game. It does get a bit hectic at times. Oops. Can't kill those cannons, can I? No. Have to deal with them. Alright, pretty close to leveling up again. I might just have a look in a moment and see what I need to increase my damage further. I felt like I was a bit weak then. Now, it looks like there's a little friendly guy stuck in here in the corruption, so we'll get him out. Off you go, and he'll generally go back to a little home base, so we'll go see what he does for us a bit later. I do want to finish exploring this first. We can break that down. That's a bit of a one-way road. So we drop in from above there. What's over this way? Break of a wall, another big statue. Oh, your friend? You are. Ancient tablet. Ah, this is near the Um Is it? Yeah. No, so that, do that looked familiar. So that actually opened up a one-way path from the home base, so he is nearby. But we need to bring him a stone, an ancient tablet, but uh, that's not something I've found just yet. But I feel like there was more to this dungeon. I'd be mistaken. I thought there was a couple of paths a bit earlier on that we didn't get to go through, so we'll see. Obviously there's a way to drop down from somewhere else. Yeah, no, these paths are all blocked. Shame. So where am I here? I don't really know. I need to explore the overworld a bit more to find that, I assume. But hey, we made a little bit of progress, so that's something. Head back home. Don't need their heal. I didn't get any currency, so I can't do much there anyway. Uh, I might just explore what else is out this way. paths we've opened in the past. More Zelda references for you. Reminiscent of uh, Death Mountain, of course. But with more bullets, I guess. Uh, level up. Good point. We have... Oh, I need one point. I need ten to upgrade my damage again. Little uh, cave in there. Aha. Uh -huh. That's obviously something I haven't seen since I got the upgrade. And that unlocks a little cave for me. That's good. There's something new to explore. habit of checking every wall for secrets. Uh, okay, another race. Not fantastic at these, I must say. A 
Good tight. Oh wow, I think that's the first one I've actually won. Got an achievement too. What do I win? Child of the Crystal, you found one of my spirits. Bring them all back to safety and their secret tower will open. Interesting. Oh great, that means I have to go back and beat all the other ones that I've found in races, wherever they might be. Not my forte, that one. What are you guys protecting here? It will be something. Ah, well, that's nice. I can open that now. Another store. I made just stealing all your things. There's the ancient tablet. Fourteen. Lucky Heart increases the chance to drop life, life hearts from enemies or the Lonely Swamp map. Can I get both? Yes, I can. Can I get that tablet? Absolutely. Can I get the Lonely Swamp map? Absolutely. And I wouldn't. Yeah, okay, that's nice. I don't know what we're dealing with there. And I would love to get this, but I'll have to come back for that. Too many times I've been stuck on one heart and been unable to uh, just get a damn enemy to drop another one for me. Which leads to some tense situations. Oh, I've seen the enemies like this. I don't... Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't know if I could kill him. The last one I fought just had uh, seemingly endless amounts of health. Cool. And I destroyed that big cannon, which opens up a little shortcut for me, which is always welcome. I've been in here. Whoops, that was very bad. I think I have been in here, actually. Ah, uh, there's a little heart container down there. That would be nice. But, uh... That's not how you do it. But I don't think I can get it this way, no. I'll have to drop down, I guess. From above somewhere. Yeah, the next power is certainly um, somewhere to traverse water. Too many paths blocked by water to, for it to be anything else. It'd be like a hover or a jump or a floaty. And as you can see, I do <laughs> struggle with the water. Oh, a little spirit. That's the one I just uh, raced. All right, first things first, let's heal, please. Thank you. You can look at this map for me. And what can you tell me? Hey, I believe that tree is a little mini boss. Dungeon? Maybe? I think, no, no, these are the mini bosses. These ones, the big ones. Um, okay. Very cool, thank you. And uh, I'll take the ancient tablet to this guy. Hello. Not quite sure what this is going to do for us. Okay. The Chosen was summoned to return the primordial powers, but engulfed in glory and pride, the Chosen refused to yield. Okay, so that's just a bit of lore, I suppose. Interesting. Um, right, eh? Move along. Which 
trying to work out where I've been. Most of that seems blocked off. Must be somewhere to get into this. Just a matter of knowing whether I have the tools I need to do it. There's also another path up here. Through the desert. Uh, a little cave over there I haven't finished yet. And obviously plenty to do in this forest down here, including uh, this tower and this tree and this distress signal. I don't know. I'll keep exploring the northeast for now, just to rule out any... Oh, that's the boss, isn't it? Yes. Just to rule out any paths that I've missed. And that's the boss from last time, which has already been defeated. Yeah, look at that. You have to be able to traverse water to get there, surely. There is another cave over here, apparently, which is incomplete. Ah, oh, yes, and that would be the heart container that I couldn't get to from the main path. Let's keep moving. Okay, this is new. Okay, that makes a bit more sense now. There must be some hidden lanterns around the area. Ah, another little path I can access now. Nice. I completely stuffed that up. Ambush. Uh, container, thank you. Oh, nice, that was the fourth one. And the Zelda inspired heart containers increase. We'll keep moving this on the map, that is. Uh, nothing, maybe. <laughs> Not quite sure. Ah, another torch. I'm guessing that's going to unlock the boss dungeon. Beautiful. Another path. Another ambush. What were these guys called in Zelda again? I can't remember the names. If you play Link to the Past or Ocarina of Time, you'd know them. The jumpy guys, they have one big eyeball, I think, generally. Another level up, very nice. Oh, that's dangerous. Uh, how do I... There we go, E. Shield power comes in handy. Ah, apparently jumping into the water to dodge bullets comes in handy as well. That's a... Uh, Potentially a <laughs> cheeky little strategy. I recharge my shield. I walk straight into a bullet for no real reason. A bit aggressive there. Another heart container. Or at least a quarter of one. I'll take it. More of these coins as well. I don't know what it is with me and... Oh, they're solid. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Good to know. Oh. And yet... Yeah. <laughs> and yet I still just... Oh dear. What is... Ah, a little lily pad. <laughs> okay. A little cave. Wait for some of my energy to come back.
Okay. There we go. Land to number three. Very nice. So... Assuming they're all relatively positioned in the right order. I don't know if I've already done this. The last one must be to the north. Need to backtrack a bit to find that one. Not that way. There's nothing hidden there. Uh, how did I get north? I think it went this way. I don't know, it's further along. That's where the four lanterns are. Oh. Another ambush. That's a bit dangerous. Take out his little buddies first, make it a bit easier. There we go. Thank you for the coins. Let's see what's in here. Some experience crystals. Better than better than nothing. Another level, got three levels now. I'm gonna save those points for the time being anyway. And what else? There we go. Looks promising. This super shot actually makes things so much easier. There it is, the last one. So I've just unlocked the boss arena, I assume. If that contains the ability to uh, travel over water, I'll be set. The turtle? Turtle shell? A quick poke around here, make sure I haven't missed anything. Doesn't look like it. Let's go see what this is all about. Very cool. Achievement unlocked, wake up the giant turtle. Maybe he doesn't mind. Where is he taking us? Uh, map piece over there. to know how this all ties together because I've just unlocked a couple of things haven't I there's a map piece there there was a little hidden button under a rock earlier there you go 
something else there maybe. I must be able to come back and freely explore this. I can't seem to get off the turtle at the moment, so it must be something to come back for. Ah, okay, that's where that boss is. <laughs> Mind the step. Right. An achievement for destroying 50 coconuts. Okay, path to the boss unlocked. What else is around here? More coconuts. That's a shortcut. Lovely. Back to the mainland, I assume. Oh, the scarab. I oh, don't fly over the water, that's cheating. Gotcha. What's that? Two now? I need one more to get the next unlock from the uh, fellow back at the village. Alright, we're going in. Okay. What's going on in here? Alright, the boss key goes behind the entrance. That's a little interesting. Make a note of that for later. Nothing I can do here at the moment. Except uh, walk into a trap. Thank you for the coins. I'll walk into another trap, maybe. say, ooh, a trap, I didn't see that coming, and then I just just flew straight into an enemy, so I'll keep my mouth shut. This guy's a tanky. What is shooting me? Ah, snipers. But I think these are like corrupt versions or variants of the enemies. They're darker colored and they shoot those red bullets. A lot tougher than the normal ones you come across. Fast, it's just chaotic. Sniper is annoying me. There we go. Make that heart, thank you. Got a key. Is there anything else out here I need to be aware of? Maybe I could just into the water a few times, three times, there we go. Looks like that's it out here. Um, there must be another path up there somewhere. We'll come across that in time. What else is down here? Some pots, some coins. That's a lot of bullets. And one at a time, that'll do the trick. Wait for some of these bullets to disappear before I push another button. 
go. Just not sure. Does that other button do something to think, or is it purely a trap? A trap. I say, this game felt good on a controller, but I'm finding it to be much more precise with a mouse and keyboard. Okay, can't kill that. That's good to know. Oh. Okay. You for that, so move on. All right, not doing anything there yet. Might as well use this key. Might as well fall in the water and then use this key. Open up another path or two. Go. Very nice. I might actually just explore what's up here first. A battery would be great, actually. Ah, sneaky little key. happening out there. Let's hope I remember to come back to all this. In the meantime, we'll head up here. these bolts like all different momentum ah that's uh got me good there not five points i can live with what can i use that on speed is four bullet speed is two boost speed is two bullet speed is three super shot critical chance fire rate fire range a rate actually just to maybe more oomph. Oh, I see, that's how that all connects. Oh, but I'm going this way, aren't I? Yes, let's try this little trap room again. I kill those problematic ones first. Go. Three you. Damn. Those things get me a lot. I don't know why. Probably because I'm, I'm used to watching for bullets and then they just launch at you instead. There we go. Pop the key in there. Get a run up. Pal. What's happening in this room? I feel like oh, they seem looking like torches that I can light, but it doesn't work that way. Oh, use up all my energy, just wait a moment. Okay. 
Okay, got a ramp. Is it all over the place? Do I want to keep traveling down? I don't think I do at this stage. Who else is here? Oops. Oh, no, don't want to do that. That's an entryway. Alright, I guess I know where I'm going. What is this? Line up all the checkpoints. Is there a time limit? Is it a race? Another door opens. I kill you, scum. Okay. Fair enough. I don't trash talk. Nice. Not really nice, it took way too much damage, but anyway. Here's what it is. Ah, cool. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Can I actually sneak across there? Actually taking where I want to go? I oh, don't. These have hearts in them sometimes. Get it. Yes. Low motion fear effect as well. Love it. Alright, what have you got for us? Uh Surf. Cool. Look at me surfing. Hell yeah. Alright, another little uh Oh, what do you call this? A little path to follow a bit later, I guess. Oh, there's a ramp. Actually, I'll probably get to that when I do the course. Um, early on, I'm thinking, oh man, there's so much I can get to when I can cross water, and now I can't remember a single specific thing. Wasn't that? I tell you what, the freedom is amazing though. Oh, what's going on over here? Look at that thing under the water. Big critter. All these corrupt enemies are doing my head in a bit. Get paralyzed, scrub. Nice. Oh, well, I've got 62 coins already. Whoa, what was that? Ah, oh, it's just an enemy. Where are we going? The button. Nice, that unlocks another key for me. 
Yeah, let a champ. Actually, no, I think I should stay and kill these things because. They'll give me the coins I want. Please die. There we go. 71 now. Nice. A little scarab. Don't mind if you run over the water now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's three, which is good. That's enough to buy the next upgrade at the town. For some energy to come back. There we go. Alright, now this was the key. Beautiful. Ah. Oops. Didn't really mean to do that. So I'm hoping there's not another. Yeah, I should have prioritised. Doesn't seem like the game that'll penalise you or soft lock you though, so it shouldn't be too worried. Probably should be a bit more careful though. Oh, I can't even remember where I was. Oh. <laughs> Usually my sense of direction is... Uh, well, it leaves a lot to be desired. Alright, so two keys should unlock that heart container for me, which is well worth it. This is just a labyrinth of caves and doors and buttons. Open two doors, don't know how to get to them though. What else have we got? Oh, another little scarab. I've just got the goods, plenty of coins, plenty of scarabs. Awesome power that I've been hanging out for. We haven't even killed the boss yet. Aha, now we can do this. Oh, okay, I was wrong. I don't need the second key for that. I wonder what that's for then. Take that. Thank you very much. Oh, the next key must uh, open the way down there to something. Maybe that's the boss key. Actually, can't remember where. Aha. Uh -huh. Whoa. Leave me alone. Right, that makes sense. And what have we got here? Oh, that's nasty. One thing I like about this game is that as someone who gets lost very easily and has basically zero sense of uh, direction, no internal GPS, it's very forgiving. The design is nice and it's not uh, frustrating. 
So I definitely thank the devs for that. I need to get back to the starting area. Go down. There it is. All right, boss time. What have we got here? Bit aggressive. How am I leveling up right now? Ah. Okay, when I broke him, he dropped some crystals. That's nice of him. Interesting, interesting boss design. Oh, jeez, that's brutal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do that, buddy. Oh, no. And I wasted my thing as well. Oh man, that's actually very harsh. <laughs> I'll upgrade, oh, I can't upgrade the super shot, can I? Taking off some boost speed, no, that's not gonna work. Air of time, bullet speed, fire range. Take off some bullet speed, put it into super shot. Oops, not running away. But Super Shot seems like my main uh, damage dealer. I may as well invest in that. Oh, that's terrible. Level up, thank you, I'll take that. Just need to remember that last phase is going to be brutal very quickly. I should focus fire on like one of the arms or something. I don't know how possible he's going to make that. Just drifted slowly into that bullet. That was very disappointing. Oh, no, that's not a real bad one. Oh, it's a pain. Oh my goodness. Don't give myself much of a chance this time. That's alright, I can dodge that. Oh, I couldn't dodge that one. At the angle. Oh, 
Oh, goody. Ah, leveling up actually pushed some of the bullets away. This is not marriage. <laughs> oh, jeez. Now I'm supposed to get close. Like that, I guess. I'm waiting for the trap, though. Oh, there it is. Oh. Jeez. Oh, oh no. I believe I did that. Alright. Two points to spend. Bullet speed, boost speed, action. Crit chance, maybe? I don't know, just to put it on there. No, nope, don't go that way. Alright, this time for sure. Just like in all these games, if you limit your bad damage, your unnecessary damage, that's half the battle, right? So good. Where am I going here? Where am I going here? Oh, the pointing. I wasted a super shot there. There we go. Go from the charge. Dodge out of the way. Oh, his shields are actually functional on the side, so I can just shoot him on from the side angle, no worries. Much better. Okay, this one I don't like. Wait for an opening. Oh, no, just charge in, no worries, mate. <laughs> God. What was that thing I was just saying about bad damage? What is... Oh, he's knocking me into it. I didn't quite realise what was happening. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Cats barging down my door again. Probably making fun of me for being so terrible at this game. Now this is what got me last time, just these little stray bullets. Yeah, risky. There we go. God, I must have been very close last time. The third boss, the Forsaken Beast. Done. Three down, I think that's what one to go. Unless they have some sort of, uh, you know, ultimate fifth or final hidden boss or something. Let's assume the Zelda references, you know, you get the four that unlocks the fifth big one in the middle. Very nice, and that's done. Now, was there anything else around here? It was, wasn't there? Now that I can swim? Oh. But I can't swim in the deep water, apparently. It's a shame, because that's where the heart piece is. 
There's a button somewhere to raise that path. I'm going to go looking for that. I reckon that could be... Oh, there's the map. There was a... On the way here on the turtle, there was a little bunch of coconuts that looked like they were covering a button. There you go, map unlocked. So I think it might be there. I beg your pardon, it wasn't a bunch of coconuts, it was a shell. Oh, I already pushed that button. Am I crazy? Was there another one? That oh, must be crazy. This looks sus though. Jesus, what's going on out here? Guys, please. Let me alone, let me alone. <laughs> Violated. Oh boy, a water race. All right, I'll embarrass myself here. Took a good start. Oh man. I don't know how much of it is just in my head, but the water controls are different. <laughs> Where's my energy? Oh, ran out of boost. I don't know how to generate boost on the track. Oh, should I be shooting those? Jeez, that adds an element. Already bad at multitasking. Don't have to rub it in. Okay, this one will take, this one's a bit of a project. I might uh, come back when I've got a few more speed upgrades for that one. Maybe a few battery upgrades as well. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, little spirit. All right, where am I? There, there is something over here. Part container down there. All right, I'll check that out first and then I'll head back. Ah, I knew there'd be something in there. The rest look suspicious at all? Don't think so. Now I might move on. Alright, so there was a little area in here. What is that? Uh, what the? Is it a shell monster? <laughs> it would appear so. Tough one too. Give up any time you want there, pal. Save everyone a bit of time, will you? Get out of here. Beat the beach boss. Interesting. Got a level up, got an item. What did I get? Overcharge. Powers are reloaded 30% faster. I'm not unhappy with that. But I am unhappy that didn't unlock the heart piece. I was a bit convinced. 
Anyway, I'll have to come back to that. Fix because oh, there's a button. Oh, more deep water. More bloody purple guys. Get out of here. Come on. Oh, gee. So how do I get over there? Get on land and scoot over. No, that's too far. Get this tree down. Nope. Oh man. All right, I could be here forever. I'm going to teleport back to the home base. No, I'm not. I'm going to get hit and probably die. <laughs> Leave me alone. Try that again. Here we are. First water call. Please heal me. Thank you. Map fragment for you to look at. Go. Cave up there apparently. Thank you very much. That cost 65. That cost 120. I'm very close to that, and that is. Hey, what? I might save for this first because I think a level five gun is going to benefit me more in the short term than that. More of an in-game deal, I guess. Okay, three scarabs for the Idol of Time, which improves my time slowing ability, which I don't think I've even used once legitimately. And the next scarab I get gives me a heart piece. Beautiful. Alright, I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. Thank you for watching. Once again, this is Mini Shoot Adventures, and this is uh, an ongoing series that I've been doing just as a playthrough. It's a quite a fun and satisfying game, so check it out if you're interested. I'll leave a link in the description. Please subscribe if you like this and want to see more. It helps me out a lot. Keeps you in the loop when new videos drop. And uh, I'm looking to cover all sorts of new and upcoming indie games. So if you have any game suggestions or feedback, let me know in the comments, and I'll do my best to get back to every single one of you. So thanks again for watching. And I will see you next time.